I'm Lorraine Naylor. I'm a genetic counselor here at the Fred Hutch. I have been here for nine years and I've been doing oncology genetics for 15. Genetic testing is really much more accessible than I think a lot of people think. It's something that, you know, technically anyone has access to. The tricky part is just trying to differentiate what genetic test makes sense for what person. And then the people who should definitely do genetic testing usually are individuals who have a personal cancer history, especially at a young age. And also, of course, people who have a strong family history of certain cancer types. We usually look for things like three generations of cancer in the family. Again, young ages of diagnosis in the family, so usually under the age of 50, and then similar types of cancers in a family, like if there's multiple people with breast cancer or multiple people with colon cancer, it probably makes sense to at least have a discussion about genetic testing. But overall, it's available, I think, and more accessible than a lot of people think. It's just worth asking the question. So the testing that we order here is usually very specific to hereditary cancers. So there's lots of different things you can have genetic testing for, but in our organization, we really focus on oncology and cancer genetics. There's also, you know, within our department, we do genetic testing for certain like hematologic malignancies or hematologic conditions. But really outside of that, it would be a different organization to do genetic testing for other things. There's so many different types of genetic tests, right? Like not even just for specific diseases, but also just like how comprehensive is the test? How accurate is the test? You know, what are we really looking for? So that's one reason why if someone's wanting to be evaluated for a cancer in their family, we recommend they see a cancer genetics provider because you can sometimes go online and order genetic tests, but those aren't necessarily as accurate or as comprehensive as medical tests that can be ordered. Technically on paper, anyone can have genetic testing. You need a healthcare provider to order it for you and also help interpret those results and what it might mean for you and your family but really it's available to anyone but of course yes the cost comes into play and is one of the reasons why we have a lot of discussions with our patients about that if you have a personal history of cancer or a family history of cancer most insurance companies do cover genetic testing they don't necessarily cover it for anyone who walks in and doesn't have a history but a lot of times when you have that discussion with your provider they might know of ways to get lower cost testing or be able to talk you through the options. A lot of genetic testing laboratories will offer discounted prices for self-pay. So if someone doesn't meet their insurance criteria for coverage, we a lot of times we'll talk with patients about, well, if you want to pay for this out of pocket, what are our options there? And that usually can be between two and three hundred dollars. We can get the cost down for, for people for self-pay. And then again, if they have a history that's that shows genetic testing is needed, most insurance companies pay for it. The short answer to that is maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of depends. We usually tell people to check in with us every five-ish years if they've had genetic testing already, just because, you know, our technologies evolve, the genes that we've learned about evolve, and even just our understanding of the genes we already know about evolve. So um, we usually tell people to at least check in every five years. Depending on what tests you've had done, we might say, nope, you're still good. We don't need to do anything else. But if you've had more limited testing in the past, we might say, yes, we've actually learned more to where we now would do this additional genetic testing to cover things that you weren't tested for at that point in time. So sometimes people need additional testing, depends on how long it's been and what their testing was in the past. Yeah, it really depends. So it's a lot of it is patient directed. So, I mean, we like to give patients the option, you know, if we're just talking to a patient who has breast cancer or only has breast cancer in their family, we can just focus on the genes associated with breast cancer. That being said, a lot of the genes associated with breast cancer can also be associated with other cancers. So, you know, like the BRCA genes are associated with breast, ovarian, pancreatic, and prostate cancer. But we always also give patients the option to do more comprehensive testing. So we can look at genes in addition to what's even in their family history, looking at things like colon cancer, stomach cancer, I'm trying to just, yeah, uterine. Oh, you know, we can definitely do more comprehensive testing if the patient is interested in that information, but we also have the option of just doing limited genetic testing where we're just looking at genes associated with something like breast cancer. Yeah, that's a hard one. That's a little bit of a more rare type of cancer, but there are a group of genes that can be associated with sarcomas in general. So not necessarily specific to the leiomyosarcoma type, but you know, whenever we see two cancers in a family and they're the same type, it would be worth at least talking about. I think, you know, the, the likelihood is relatively low, but there are definitely some genes that can be associated with sarcomas. And so it's something that could be evaluated. 
I mean, I think the big thing for me is just for anyone out there who's wondering if genetic testing makes sense for them, ask the questions, you know? I mean, I think our goal is to identify people in the population who have a genetic risk for cancer because then we know a little bit more what to watch out for. We can do screening earlier. We can do screening more frequently. In some cases, we can talk about preventative surgeries. Our goal in all of this is to prevent cancers or find them as early as possible so that we have a lot more options and people do so much better. So if you have the question, ask it, ask your provider, and then work to get as much information as you can. And yeah.